Pumpkin bars are the perfect fall treat. They are a moist, tender pumpkin spice cake topped with cream cheese frosting. And it's the perfect amount of pumpkin bars for two to four people. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and fall is in the air. Well, not really. It's 90 degrees here in Portland today, but I'm dreaming of those beautiful, cool, crisp fall days. And these pumpkin bars are the perfect way to make that dream come true. But promise me, don't wait until the temperatures cool down to make these. So for the cake part of our pumpkin bars, we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees and then lightly greasing. I'm using my little nine by six pan again. I'm gonna link to it. <coughs> don't inhale the cooking spray. Oh. I'm gonna to link to this pan down below, all right? So we're gonna mix our ingredients together and we're gonna start with pumpkin. Now this is pumpkin, it's not pumpkin pie filling. You'll find both of them in the grocery store. You want the can that is just pumpkin. And we have a half of a cup of pumpkin. We're gonna add in a half of a cup of granulated sugar. We've got one egg and a quarter cup of Oil. Now I'm using a vegetable oil or a canola oil. Just use any mild flavor oil. And don't substitute butter for this usually. I mean, I'm a lover of butter, but this oil really makes this cake so nice and moist. And we're ready to add in our dry ingredients. And we have a half of a cup of all-purpose flour. We have baking powder, which is a half of a teaspoon. Get it all out there. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We're also gonna add in our seasoning, and we are using today a three-fourths of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Now, if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, I'm gonna put down in the description below an alternative. It's basically a combination of cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger. And so if you need to make your own pumpkin pie spice, just look down below. And then I like a little bit more punch of cinnamon, so I'm going to add in about a half of a teaspoon, oh, Three-fourths of a teaspoon. No, one quarter. One quarter of a teaspoon. My trusty assistant here. One quarter of a teaspoon of additional cinnamon. And then just mix it together until it's all combined. And then we are just going to pour our batter into our greased pan. And then it is going to go into our 350-degree oven 25 minutes. You just want to, you can use a toothpick to insert to make sure it's cooked through or just use a test where you kind of touch the top of the cake and if it springs back, then it's done. So while those pumpkin bars are a bacon in the oven, we're going to make our cream cheese frosting and this cream cheese frosting is so good. We've got two ounces of cream cheese here and you want to make sure it's nice and soft. It just makes it easier since we are mixing this up by hand to incorporate and not have any lumps of cream cheese in your frosting. So I'd like just to take the back of my spoon, if, just smash it around to kind of soften it up a little bit more. And we are going to add in three tablespoons of softened butter. And again, just take your spoon and smash it up. After we have that butter and the cream cheese all softened and combined, we are going to add in a cup of powdered sugar. And we have about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon, depending on how much you want, of vanilla. And then we mix that all together. And then I have some but, uh, milk sitting here that we're gonna add in just enough to get the nice, right cons um, spreading consistency for this frosting that we want. And I can see already, I'm gonna need to add in a little bit so in these small batch recipes, just be sure you add in just a little bit at a time. Maybe even just starting with a half of a teaspoon of milk. You can use cream, whipping cream, half and half, whatever you have on hand. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna need just a little bit more. Well, yeah, maybe not. I think it's good. And a nice, smooth, spreading consistency. Pumpkin bars are done. They smell so good. And you'll know it's done when the cake kind of starts to pull away from the edge. And then again, like I said, it springs back when you touch it. So we have let this cake cool totally, okay? And we've got our 
cream cheese frosting that we're gonna put on. And then we got one more thing we're gonna add for a little finishing touch to these pumpkin bars after we've spread this frosting all over. Okay, so I love a little crunch on my pumpkin bar and this is a perfect way just in case maybe you ended up with a few lumps in your cream cheese to hide them. And I just chopped up some sugar pecans. You could just use a toasted pecan and we're gonna sprinkle those on the top. And then the only thing we have left to do is to cut them. Now I like to cut them, again, it kind of depends on how many people you're gonna be feeding. I generally cut them into six pieces, but if you want a bigger piece of cake, go ahead and cut it into four. Ready to serve the perfect fall dessert, tender, moist, and delicious. So if you're looking for some more small batch recipes, be sure to click on over here and check those out and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next video.